All right. Hey, what's up, guys? Thanks for watching this video. I just wanted to uh, make a quick video. This is uh, just an evening street ride on the uh, Tesla V2. Um, just in my neighborhood, just cruising around the streets. Um, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about why I love EUCs and why you should probably get one. Um, first and foremost, I know a lot of you might be saying, uh, isn't it dangerous? And, um, the answer is yes. Um, it can be, but just like any other sport, like motorcycling or whatever, um, you can decrease the rate of injury a little bit by, uh, wearing the proper equipment. Um, so I, I gotta say, I, I first got into this whole thing because I bought a one wheel by future motion um and i i was so excited it took so long to finally get built and get to my house like when it finally got there i was so excited i opened this thing up and i had been watching a bunch of channels that uh had one wheel content and um jimmy chang was one of those uh creators and he he was doing a bunch of one wheel stuff, but he was like slowly moving into unicycles, electric unicycles. And I was like, I, I almost stopped watching the channel because I was like, nah, man, I just want to see this one wheel content, you know? One wheel is so awesome. I was having so much fun on it. I, I just couldn't understand why anyone would go to a unicycle. Um, but now I do. I finally gave in and I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy one of these things and I'm going to try it out. I'm going to compare the two and I will actually make a video comparing the two because they both have their um, positives and their negatives. Um, now, in the beginning, I got to tell you, it was hard to learn. At least it was for me. I was crashing left and right. And with this thing, with the tire spinning and what, like the crashes weren't just crashes. They were violent crashes. This thing was getting bashed, sometimes doing flips. The tire would hit the ground and spin it around again. The tire was spinning uncontrolled. It was crazy. Um, a couple of times with the tire spinning around would grab my ankle and like basically like rip my skin and bite my ankles. But I got to say, listen, you got to stick with it just like anything else. And when you get past that, all right, there just comes this point. I don't even know how to explain it, but it was like all of a sudden it just clicked. Everything clicked and it became like an extension of my feet. It was like my feet had wheels on them. I felt like I was going down the road or at the time I wasn't going down the road. I was in a parking lot, but I felt like I had like a jet pack on. It was a cross between a jet pack, like I was Boba Fett, um, and Marty McFly on a hoverboard, you know? It felt so great. It felt so right. It was just awesome. And as you can see in this video, just cruising down the road, man, like, you know, I'm probably doing an average of 25 to 28 miles an hour in this. Nothing crazy. You know, some of the new unicycles go up to like 50 miles an hour. Um... You know, of course, you got to keep getting better and you keep setting a new higher mark to reach. But honestly, uh, the Tesla V2 probably tops out at about 30. And that's plenty for me, at least for now. But um, so one of the reasons I just love riding this unicycle is that before this and still now, like I ride motorcycles. Uh, you, you see my content. I'm a motorcycle guy. Two wheels is just my stress relief. I would come home from a hard day at work with a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety and hop on a motorcycle, go for even just a half an hour ride and come home. And I would literally say like the wind just blew the stress and anxiety right out of my head. You know, I came back refreshed with a smile on my face and I just loved it. And the unicycle is just like that. It's freedom. You just feel like you're flying. I, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's like the closest thing to flying, but still being on the ground. And again, yes, it has its dangerous points. But you know what? You ride within your own limits. You know, don't push past what you can do. Um, but yeah, so first and foremost, it's the relief of stress and anxiety. It, 
it just clears my head and puts a smile on my face. Um, number two is it's an adrenaline rush. It is because you know what, when I had the one wheel and I was topping it out at like 18 miles an hour, I thought I was going pretty fast till I got on this and I started doing 25 and I, that was a real adrenaline rush, you know, 25 miles an hour with your hands free, not on handlebars, like on a motorcycle. Look at this. You're just cruising down the road, right? Nothing stopping you. Your hands are free. Uh, it's just great. There's nothing like it, really. Um, the second reason is it's a great way to just commute short distances. If you're just running the store quick for a few few things, like you can totally carry a couple of grocery bags in your hands while you're riding the EUC. Or let's say you live in a city and you have to commute five to ten, maybe even twenty miles to work through city streets. This is the perfect mode of transportation. Number three, it's clean and green. It's good for the environment, you know. Um, you plug it in, charge it back up. I don't ever have to stop to get gas. And um, it, it goes like 30 miles on one charge. Well, this guy's asking me for the card for the gym, but I don't even live in this complex i'm just passing through but um yeah it's just a rush um it it just gets rid of your stress rid of your anxiety it puts a giant smile on your face you literally feel free like you're flying um if you're interested and you're thinking about it you're sitting on the fence i'm gonna say go for it get a unicycle you won't regret it, that's for sure. Um, and again, it, it, there'll be frustrating moments as you learn to ride. But once you get past that and it clicks, this is what you're in for. Look at this ride around a couple blocks in my neighborhood. This is just amazing. An amazing way to travel. It's the future. Electric travel is the future, whether we like it or not. I love my Harley Davidsons. I love gas powered combustion engines. I love the sound they make. But I can't deny that electric motors are, are the future. They are. Um, last but not least, um, one of the things I really love about this is this particular unicycle cost me. I think it was $1,300. I got to tell you, I the one wheel that I purchased, you know, with tax and everything else and shipping and uh, whatever it was out the door was like $2,000. And it's got a range of about 15 miles and it goes about 18 miles an hour. So you have about an hour of riding. This goes well beyond that and much faster. And honestly... It's more fun. It just is. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know why. I never thought it would be. I thought a one wheel would be the uh, the top of the heap, but it's not. Um, for $1,200, $1,300, dude, I have had way more than $1,300 worth of fun on this thing. Guys, I just want to thank you so much for watching this video. Thanks for being here. If you want to see more about this content, or if you want to know what kind of equipment, what kind of safety equipment I wear while I'm riding my unicycle, just comment below. I'm thinking about doing a video about my uh, pads that I wear. I know some people might be interested. If you're getting into this, you don't know what to order. You could waste a lot of money on stuff you don't need. Anyway, guys, thanks again. Keep your knees, keep your knees in the breeze. God bless. Thank mm -hmm. you.